Hello and welcome. This is Alchemist X and this is the weekly update for June 3rd. So we have a new unit, Minerva, who I decided to showcase just a little bit because she's got a, a fun niche. Uh, if you are familiar with Nikaya, the Genesis unit, pretty or um, Catanova when he temporarily rides the dragon, pretty much the same premise. They're a floating unit with 99 jump and Thus, they are immune to panels, and the, this level was all about showcasing that. So that was just the mercenary of POTK Minerva. So I think she's kind of an interesting unit. I definitely would recommend that you try the mercenary out um, if you're on the fence of, like, do you want to go for this unit or not? Because she is a guaranteeable unit, uh, either via 9-step on the banner, which more about that in the banner section, or, or also her shards are available in the shop. So there's also that as well. So she's what I wouldn't call her like a must have unit per se. She seems pretty strong and has a few fun gimmicks like being able to instantly get another turn if her skills kill an enemy and then the whole flying thing. So she's very accessible. So I definitely appreciate that. Even if she's not must have, she's fairly easy to get um, if you have the resources to raise her. So uh, with that out of the way, Let's go through the content overview as we normally would. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to point out is that you can get Dark Levitane for free. So that's pretty cool. She is a Thunder unit, uh, mainly single target slash. I wouldn't call her amazing, but the fact that you can get her for free is pretty nice. If you have like a ton of Thunder shards you, and you're needing a good solid unit, then she could definitely be worth your while. I just happen to have her pretty decently enlightened just because that's sort of how the cards fell. And I don't, yeah, just I don't think she's amazing, but I think she's all right. So definitely more free units, the better. So as far as Phantom of the Kill goes, if this is your first time around, they call it a collab, but it's really more like an event because Gumi owns the rights to it. Phantom of the Kill is also a Gumi game, so they can kind of bring it back whenever you want, they want. It's not subject to the same limitations that other collaborations are going to be subject to. And thus, any of the units, um, I mean, you know, usually the, the newer ones more so, but there's a much higher chance that they're going to be more useful for longer periods of time, like especially the God Killers, but also even the, the Dark Princesses to a certain extent. So I would definitely think about it more as an event than as a like a true collab but they do use the collab materials so i'd remember that so the the list of dailies gets really long and there are certain enemies that you need to kill and not every single map that has them is necessarily going to count so it can be a little bit of a pain if you're on your first go around and you're trying to get all of the dailies done and get all that figured out so to make it a little bit easier I was just going to, I'm not going to like literally run through all the levels, but I'll just point to them. For the Eerie Puppets, it's in this Princess Weeps one. If you go to episode five, that'll, you can just do it once and you're good. And then for the Armored Eldritches and the, um, the, what is the Soldier Eldritches, uh, any of these levels will work. Um, and then there's also a really good EX level. That will count towards that too. And if you are in need of... Where's Minerva? There we go. If you are in need of Zenny, then this level will be like your best friend. Uh, especially on auto-repeat. It is called Holy Lance Longinus and Divine Purity Bow Artemis. Because it, when you run the level, there's a small chance that this enemy will spawn. And when you kill it, it'll drop the um, like 55 gold ingots. But if you run it on auto repeat, you'll just get them a bunch. So if you need Zenny, just auto repeat that, then you won't need Zenny anymore. And then the other stuff's just like use skill, do multiplayer. The rest of it's pretty self explanatory. So the list is bigger, but it's it's really it doesn't add that much more time to the process. So the new map that they added was the one for Minerva that I was showcasing in the intro. Uh, you just if you have the unit and you want to farm the weapon, then this is where you would do it, or if you just do it a few times for the, the milestone rewards. And then there was also another one that they added, like the EX plus two. And this level is like suspiciously similar to the Masamune uh, class change level. 
Um, I think maybe they statted them up, but if you look at some of the clears, like it's not a challenging level. Like a lot of people sold it. I sold it with Rado. Um, yeah, his uh, job plus definitely, definitely worth getting. Uh, I'm still figuring out um, how much I like Monzine's job plus plus. I, I finally finished the map and all the milestones, but I haven't really had a good opportunity to test him out yet. So Jerry is still out, but he does have a ton of HP and P defense. So there is that. And then some of these maps are available in multiplayer as well. But yeah, that is about it for the content so far this week. So let's take a look at the banners. Okay, so first up, there is a free daily. Just get a few shards of Phantom of the Kill units. Just go ahead and knock this out right away. Always nice to get free shards, even if it's a small amount. And look at that. Um, Alright, cool. So, there's one paid summon. For now. <laughs> Wait until reset for the weekend and there may be more. But it is a 100 shard reroll banner. So that's not too bad. Um, if you need 100 shards of super limited units uh, and you're willing to pay for it, then it's definitely not bad. The only thing I would say is that uh, there might be something that you like more over the weekend maybe not it's it's the first week of a phantom of the kill collab so they probably wouldn't throw anything too crazy out there um but it's always good to to keep an open mind and and wait but in terms of is this good or bad i'd say it's pretty good uh depending on what you need then we've got two banners with not a great format um but you will get to do one free pull of this at least with the um daily login bonuses for the Minerva one. And at least you get collab coins, so there's that. But as far as getting the new unit, the POTK Minerva goes, I, I think that the nine step or transmuting is, is better option than this. Uh, same thing with um, Tiferet and Fail Not. Theirs are also rerunning, so I think you just think it's the better way to do it. So yeah, uh, it applies to all three of these. They're all the same structure. Fairly expensive, but you can guarantee the unit. In the case of Minerva, transmuting is also an option. Then there is a, an Enlightenment Festival type thing for Phantom of the Kill. You can get a bunch of shards, uh, which is good if you need them. It's also worth noting that you, uh, if, you know, if you have otherworldly shards around, you can use them too, as far as Enlightenment goes. So I don't know how worthwhile it is, but if you have a... Uh, one of the Dark Princesses that you really, really like and you need more shards of them than maybe. I mean, I still use Dark Masamune to this day, and I like using her quite a bit. She's one of my favorite units in the game. Then there is another Memento 7-step, but I'm not going to oversell this one because <laughs> it is not quite as good as last week's. You do still get um, five reliefs at the end, and, but you don't get a massively awesome selector. Um, and then the trade-off for that is it does have guarantees uh, each step of the way as far as five steps go. But it's just, it's just not the same. Because in all honesty, like, I would trade seven five-star mementos that have zero control over what they're going to be for one, you know, limited memento that I really, really want that doesn't really rerun much, you know, like the Sprite Trio memento. So if you know if you want to burn a discount ticket and see what you get, that that might be worthwhile. Or if you just really, really, really want reliefs for some reason, and you want to take a gamble on the guaranteed five stars, it could be worth it. But it's just it's just not as good as as last week. So it's kind of hard to appreciate a banner like this after having such a you know a as close to what I would call must pull as possible. You know last week. Uh, but anyway, there are also some memento banners for some POTK mementos, like the one of the just catch-all ones. These are kind of nice because you can guarantee them in five steps as opposed to nine. And then they also give a lot of summon coins. So if summon coins matter to you, I didn't even check to see what the guarantee was, but um, if extra summon coins are good, usually when POTK is rerunning, you can buy um, otherworldly shards, so it's not a lot, but it can be a nice bonus if you're going to get one of these mementos anyway. So yeah, the, the catch-all one, Tiferet and Fail Not, 
Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Minerva and her memento, how that's going to work, because um, I need to, to research that more. I would assume that it's going to come out later. It's kind of a long um, collab slash event, so I'd keep your eyes open for that um, if that's going to be an issue gem spending wise. But then after that, uh, the rest of them are old. And then as far as gears go, normally I don't really like to talk about gear summons because most of the time I don't think they're worth your gems. However, um, when POTK is rerunning, I would make a small exception depending on how much you, if you really like Tearfing or regular Masamune, they have gacha gears and Tearfing more so, but uh, their gears can help them out quite a bit. So at the very least, it might be worth the 300 if you really, really want one of those two gears. But otherwise, you know, for most people who either have them already or don't care, then, you know, be a, a skip like normal. But yeah, that is it for the banner review. So hopefully, if you are going after Minerva, I hope you get her in the most gem efficient way possible. And I will see you all next time.